Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Messages from the Mars Owl. Today's healing process is brought to you by um, Earth Warriors Oracle by Alana Fairchild and Isabel Briney. Um, I absolutely love this deck. I, yeah, I can't recommend it enough. It's just, it's really one of my favorites. And I think the reason why is because it channels so many different types of cultures, um, beliefs, and um, healing processes um, from Hawaii to New Zealand, Australia, and um, you know, just indigenous, um, and and even some, and you know, Native American Indian. There's there's just so many. So I really really love this deck. It just pulls on from so many um, cultures. So a bit for everything, for everyone. Let's see what comes out today. I'm just going to leave it open for the universe to uh, bring us a healing process for whoever's watching. Um, whenever you're watching this is the right time for you. It is divine timing. That's how the universe works. This one? Not that one. Keep going. Keep going, she says. Okay, there you go. So we've got two. We've got Mayu. I'm going to put my glasses on. And Inkoyama. Honor the ancient king and Soma from the galactic heart. Oh, how amazing. We've kind of got an earth energy. Oh, there's a beautiful butterfly right next to me. Um, we've kind of got an earth energy with um, the ancient king Inkoyama. And then we also have a. Um, Kind of universal energy with the galactic heart and these two cards are really beautiful um, for 22 in Kognyama and Mayu and Mayu so so what I'm getting from this is um, when we oh wow okay so what I'm getting from this is from this card may you uh, first of all it's a three and a six so it's a new way of loving yourself in this realm in this 3d world um, the three for me is about mastership it's about creating reality it is about the 3d it is about life um, and the six for me is always about heart space. It's also about mastership of balance, um, mastership of balancing your chakras, uh, your energy centers, um, mastership of being in um, sync with universal life force energy. And when you're able to do that, you tap into the universal mind, you tap into the universal energy that's available to you, you tap into universal love, which is um, far greater than um, uh, probably any other love that you've experienced. But um, yeah, so Summer from the Galactic Heart, I'm going to have to read a bit of her, but she definitely has all the colors of the rainbow and more and um, and of your chakras so really align coming into alignment with the vibration of love energy universal love energy is what I'm getting and with um, in Kong Yama honor the ancient king um, I really you know lions have a courageous heart that they also rest for about 20 hours a day and then they hunt and, and do all the other things for about four hours a day and the 2-2 two -two is all about for me um, well equals a four and that's about foundations and making sure that when you're when you're building new foundations for yourself in your root chakra and really um, planting those seeds that you're doing it from a loving place not from the ego mind um, and really calling out um, you know for in root chakra is all about finding a tribe as well or being um, it's honoring honoring tribe honoring family 
so honoring traditions I guess um, and may and, and your values honoring your values on um, your upbringing and sometimes people's upbringings um, we learn things that aren't necessarily useful for us today and so we can change those those things um, some other people have upbringings where they've had an incredible um, a lot of values instilled and and it helps them flourish and it gives them support so um, yeah honoring the ancient king what else am I getting from this I'm really getting listen listen to your intuition there's um, these circles around the lion's ears sorry about that and um, also the third eye which is ether um, I know that they're the moons at a new moon new moon energy so really meditate and focus on your intuition on what your um, what you can see from your intuitive knowing um, and what you can hear from your intuitive knowing um, especially around the new moon and with the pink around the lion's face I'm really getting this thing of um, compassion and um, you know do things do things from your heart with compassion and love and communicate from a place of um, kindness yeah um, kindness from a loving heart so let's have a look at the book and see which one wants to come out first may you here. So, Summer from the Galactic Heart, the Divine Mother's milk of the galaxy is feeding your soul. Expansion of your horizons, your spiritual purpose and your sacred responsibilities is taking place. Divine potential within you is awakening at a higher turn of the creative spiral of consciousness. And this oracle is a prophecy of the ascension and grace. Wow, that's pretty amazing. So Mayu is the star goddess of the Milky Way. Uh, we can see the Milky Way in Australia um, when we look up to the sky I can see it here as well the Milky Way was seen clearly in the skies of the ancient Incas and in Western traditions the Milky Way is recognized as a metaphor for nourishment of the milk of the heavens um, we keep hearing well I actually I keep hearing I don't know if you do but um, it's what I know to be true because I'm experiencing it um, we're able to create heaven on earth at this time so really enjoying um, mother's milk it, it appears so when Mayu comes to you it's an omen of happiness satisfaction and fulfillment and if you develop your spiritual practice you shall come into experiencing feeling drunk on this divine bliss like a baby in ecstasy of complete fulfillment through her mother's milk when we connect with the galactic heart it's a sign of spiritual advancement so um, we grow in a way that becomes where we become ready to kind of take up more spiritual space in the atmosphere and um, if you're a thinker and your ideas will become more inspired creative expansive and probably original as well and if you're a healer then you'll experience more flow of new uh, quality of divine consciousness um, in your work and if you're a leader then you'll experience a feeling of um, being overshadowed by something truly great kind and helpful whilst at the same time feeling fearless and bold and confident as you speak your truth um, speaking of speaking your truth uh, I have a book um, well it's authored by uh, Alex E. Lamber and it's called The New Wave. I am one of 35 co-authors uh, which tells you a little bit about my story. Um, they're all inspiring stories um, to get people to um, feel inspired to move forward in their purpose and passion to live a life of freedom and wellness um, and love so if you want to check that out that is on uh, Amazon on Kindle or uh, you can actually get a paperback as well so I'll put a link below um, so you, you can just click on that and it will take you there what else is the 
the galactic heart. Whenever the truth of your soul encounters that with the galactic heart, you were granted in order to evoke, expand and empower it on earth. So some interpretations of the Vedas from ancient India see the Milky Way as heavenly Soma, the nectar of immortality and the drink of the divine. So Soma can feed the soul, but like any food, healthy or otherwise, too much at any given time is hard to digest and can create more harm than good. So we also have to remember, just like food, when we intake something, when we ingest, we also have to digest and we also have to express. So when we're taking in more spirituality or um, more of anything really in our lives, it applies the same. We ingest it by you know, un understanding it and getting the knowledge. Some people have, have all the knowledge up here, but if it's not integrated, if, if it's not being digested, then it's knowledge that can't really be put into practice properly. And sometimes that can do more damage than good <clears throat> in the sense that um, if you're not ready to, if your body is not ready to do a certain action because you haven't practiced it or you haven't um, prepared yourself properly for it, then it, you, ac you can actually do more damage than good. And that's the same with your spiritual practice. If you're not ready to receive something yet um, or higher frequencies or things like that, um, we just first we need to already we need to digest what we already have or the knowledge that we already have and and therefore when that's when we can express it properly um, so we're not giving uh, ourselves a mistruth or we're not giving others mistruths we're, we're coming from a place of knowing um, and experiencing and wisdom within ourselves and that's when we can share it so that is the message, um, the healing process, what else, oh I forgot about Incognyama, it's a long read. <clears throat> so honor the ancient king, so the ancient king of Zulu brings you an empowering message. You are destined to know and experience what is to be truly empowered. Your voice, your courage, your wisdom and your dignity can create considerable spiritual light uplifting and inspiring others, guiding them from a place of spiritual truth towards fulfillment of their own divine potential. So if you've been doubting yourself or feeling unworthy of the boldness of your visions, you must allow your spirit to roar, roar like a lion, for you shall conquer all obstacles and succeed in your heart's desires. That's pretty powerful. So I think I've already done the healing process for Inkongyama. So let's do the healing process for Mayu. And um, so it's a healing prayer. So if you find a comfortable position, you can lie down, sit up, stand up. Just I want you to close your eyes down and just take three deep breaths in, just breathing in. Breathing in divine, breathing in that, that galactic heavenly milk from the Milky Way, down golden white divine light from the Milky Way through the top of your head, your crown chakra. And bringing up, let that energy just flow right through your body to Mother Earth, nourishing Mother Earth from Father Sky, from the galactic heart and bringing up that energy from the earth, from Pachamama, from Mother Gaia, that nourishing energy that she brings, green, emerald green energy up through your body. And just have it meet in your heart space to create a beautiful ball of energy in the center of your chest. And this energy can, can go small, you can contract it, and then you can expand it as you wish. And so, place your hand on your heart, make sure your eyes are closed, just listen to the words I have to say. I invoke the unconditional love of the galactic heart and give thanks for all that is good, true and nourishing of my being on all levels through unconditional love. I surrender with forgiveness and blessing. Any issues to do with mothering or being mothered, whether too much or too little. 
I release myself from false guilt, shame and judgment now. I release the mother figures in my life with forgiveness in my heart, for I no longer wish to hold on to old pain. I acknowledge I am worthy and deserving of nourishment straight from the sacred milk of unconditional love from the Galactic Mother. May all mothers receive healing and guidance, blessing and assistance from the Divine Mother of all souls. With trust, I open myself now to receive what is in need for the ecstatic fulfillment of my own being through Divine Grace. With gratitude, and so it is. Now keep your eyes closed and rest for as long as feels good and as long as you can. And whether you wish to meditate or sleep or just close your eyes and rest for a little short time, give yourself permission to do that now. If you'd like to open your eyes and just gaze at the image of this card, gently focusing on the light in the heart center of the galactic goddess and imagining, feeling and visualizing or pretending that you're stepping right into the heart, right into that light. and you're just resting there. So when you're finished, I ask that you ground yourself with some deep cleansing breaths in and out as you emerge from your rest. Start to move your body a little, ground yourself in the here and now and then you can enjoy your day or fall asleep. I thank you so much for watching. From my heart to yours, the light I see in you is the light I see in me. We are one. Namaste.